Earlier today was a great beach day out there. We had plenty of sunshine that changed going into the evening. Tybee Island, Island cleared out quickly. We still have gloomy skies over the water right now. Temperature dropped all the way to 81 degrees. Feels a little bit warmer at 82. We do still have a few thunderstorms passing through the area right now on storm tracker radar. We're finally starting to dry out a little bit. Most of the thunderstorms today hugged east of I-95. We're seeing a few more inland, but for the most part, it is starting to clear out. Maybe one or two more patches of heavy rain, especially heading towards Rankin for the moment. As we continue to go throughout the evening tonight, we'll see a few more showers and then finally dry out overnight tonight. But rain is back in the forecast pretty much for the rest of the week. As we head into Thursday, Friday and Saturday, we have a 40% chance of rain for all days ahead. Now you'll need the umbrella on standby, but most of these thunderstorms are through the afternoon into the evening hours. As we head into Thursday and Friday, some of these could be on the stronger side with gusty winds and some heavy downpours. As we head into the end of the weekend, we have a 30% chance of rain. That's a similar story to start the work week. These will just be scattered showers once again through the afternoon, just not as widespread as it will be for the next few days. And again, that's about a 30% chance of rain on Monday. Now, as we head into tomorrow, we do have rain back in the forecast, as I said before, a little bit less towards the coast at 30%. That'll keep Tybee Island at 87 degrees. Bluffton will top off at 90, uh, Savannah at 92, Hinesville at 91, and Ridgeland will be at 92 as well. Once this rain comes through, though, temperatures will drop back to the lower 80s and feel like temperatures should stay in the 90s for tomorrow. We shouldn't near the triple digits for your Thursday. We are continuing to track the tropics, though. It is that time of the year, and we are heading into our most active part of the season. Right now, keeping an eye on two separate areas. Now, these are the computer models to let us know where the tracks may lead, but we're, what we're really keeping an eye on is the area in the tropical Atlantic. Right now, it is expected to move westward and then take a northwest turn. Now it does have a 90% chance of development in the next two days. This is likely to become tropical storm Laura within the next few days. And so this is what we're going to keep an eye on again for the next few days as it continues to move westward and it takes that northwest turn. We'll keep an eye on where it leads as it heads towards towards Florida. Now it's still too early to give you an exact tract, but we'll keep an eye on it as we head into the next few days. Now Thursday once again has a 40% chance of rain will be around 92 degrees. Friday is a 40% chance of rain as well. We'll stay around 90 degrees for that high temperature. Scattered showers and thunderstorms are staying with us to kick off the weekend at 91 degrees. We're staying closer to average for the next few days as we head into Sunday. Scattered showers and thunderstorms are sticking with us through the majority of the week. The driest day of the work week next week will be on Tuesday. We have a 20% chance for some isolated showers, but you'll need the umbrella once again as we head into Wednesday. We have those summertime thunderstorms sticking with us pretty much all the way until next weekend. It is that time of the year. Once again, we're continuing to track the tropics. We're in the clear for the moment, but we want to keep you safe all the way through November. So head to WJCL.com and download our 2020 Hurricane Essentials Guide for tips on how to keep you and your family safe this season.